So we've been talking on this channel about the process of becoming for a long, long time. In fact, going back all the way to the foundation series, we've been talking about how we become who we are. So I've been hinting about this for a long time. But nobody seems to have made the connection that the process of becoming is not only the answer to the question, how did we get here? <laughs> how did we become who we are? It's also the answer to the question, who are we going to be in the next life? And Tantra specifically is a process of becoming that leads to any kind of being that we want in the next life, provided we have the karmic accounts to permit it, to justify it. In the Vedanta Sutra, there are two paths described for the soul after death. One is the path of the moon. The moon is a heavenly planet and one enjoys heavenly pleasures there, but they don't last. As soon as your good karma is used up, then either you come back to earth or if you have a lot of bad karma, you have to visit the hellish plains and then again come back to earth, usually as an animal. The path of the sun is for those who are headed to liberation. And on the path of the sun, one passes through all the higher planes, Maharlok, Tapolok, Janalok, all the way up to Brahmalok. And in Brahmalok, one can become liberated. So on the way up there, <laughs> somewhere is the Sri Chakra and that's the home of the goddess. That's her abode. That's where she lives with her expansions, the many, many goddesses and demigods that expand from her. And that's also where her devotees go. And this is part, remember when we discussed in Lakshmi Tantra, uh, this is part of the pure creation. In other words, in that range of abodes, there is no influence of time. Uh, there is no birth and no death. One simply appears there and performs various pastimes until one becomes spiritually mature and then goes for liberation. So uh, with that background, <laughs> I'd like to tell you about a dream, an extraordinary dream that I had yesterday. I usually take a nap in the afternoon, especially in this hot weather. And yesterday afternoon, before waking, I had this wonderful dream. I was in my childhood house, the house that I grew up in. And of course, this is usually a symbol for the body, right? And Ma was there with me, the goddess, my dream companion. And she opened up a doorway, a new passage into the attic of the house, which of course represents Sahasrar. And as I was going to go through that passage, she said something very significant. 
She said, best to assume that time is short. Best to assume that time is short. So this has both a general and a specific meaning. The general meaning is that human life on planet Earth is very short. A hundred terrestrial years is like nothing. It's like one year on the planet of the demigods, and even less than that on the higher planes. So for her to say that could specifically mean that my time is short. And you know, on this earth plane, death can come at any moment. You can have an aneurysm and just lose consciousness or a severe heart attack and just collapse and that's it. No warning, huh? no sickness and all of that, you know, you just drop down dead. So <laughs> on this earth planet, it's best to assume that time is short. There is very little time to construct the process of becoming that leads to our next birth, our next life. So I've known for a long time that after this body, I'm going to go to the pure creation and that I'm going to be with my lion friend. Uh, we're going to be constant companions. And there's a lot more. I'd love to tell you, but it's so far out. <laughs> you just never believe it. <laughs> I mean, for one thing, as I said, people aren't born in those realms. They simply appear. Because by the time you qualify to be in those higher realms, you have sufficient self-realization to know that the empirical self is a construction, a fabrication, sankhara. It's just something that we make up. So why not become the kind of being that you want to be in these heavenly realms? But of course, you have to have a sufficient storehouse of good karma to make it there in the first place, not to mention blessings from guru and from God or goddess. So apparently I have all that. And she's telling me, go and, and make your playground. Huh? And so my playground looks very different from what most people might expect a heavenly existence to be. But in Sri Chakra, all possibilities are available. Everything is possible. There goes the temple next door. <laughs> yeah. So in Sri Chakra, you can be whatever you want to be as long as you're a devoted servant of the goddess. So me and my lion, we're best friends, best buddies, constant companions. And we stay there for a long, long time, millions of years of subjective time. And now and then, Ma will send us out on some mission, you know, usually to one of the lower planets and teaching the absolute truth. Huh? And this uh, brings us even closer to her because we are assisting her in her mission of protecting the creation so to protect the creation means to give people real knowledge. And of course, that's what we're doing on this channel. And that's what we're doing even after this life. Huh? But in between those missions, then we have our vacation, so to speak, <laughs> or our regular life together, where we have all kinds of pastimes, outrageous adventures, which I'm not going to tell you about because it's too personal. But anyway, the point is, she sent my lion to me, wow, now almost 18 years ago, 
in 2003. And that was because I asked for my eternal companion by chanting the Kama Gayatri Mantra. This is not something that we teach publicly anyway, because you have to be on a, quite an advanced platform of bhakti already to, to utilize this properly. Um, and we don't want people to use it just, you know, to find out what's going to happen or something like that. So anyway, after Kama Gayatri Sadhana, then Lion came. And we're going to be together, not only in this life, but in the next life. And so I am constructing my being using the process of becoming Paticca Samupada that we revealed very early in this channel's history. And you should be doing this too, because time is short. You have only a few years or a few decades at most. After you understand this knowledge, to then construct the body of the next life and also to accrue sufficient karma to support it. So this is our mission, to teach you how to do this, to give you the tools that you can use to build a wonderful, wonderful next life experience. Not that you have to go to the moon planet and then come back and it's just temporary, so disappointing. But you can go to the sun and beyond the sun to the higher realms where there is no birth or death, no old age or disease, no lack or insufficiency of anything. Everything there is abundant and perfect and beautiful. And you will be too when you go there. So in some sense, I am already there. I am already living this life as far as possible on this earth planet. And when I go, which realistically could be any time, then as soon as I get there, everything will be perfect. Everything will be in order. So, I mean, this is such a more advanced conception. This tantric conception is so much more sophisticated and advanced than, let's say, the Abrahamic religions. Huh? Abrahama means not a Brahman. <laughs> In other words, materialistic religion. Huh? Their concept is, after this body, you go to heaven or, you, or hell, as determined by God, forever. And there's no chance to redeem yourself or make further progress. That's it. Huh? YOLO. <laughs> you only live once. What a dumb idea. Because we can see that people come into this life with different, different karmic backgrounds. Some people even look like a dog or a pig or a cow, huh? and they also behave like that. So you can tell in their previous life what their conditioning is. And then they, they do some superficial religious practice and think that's going to earn them some eternal paradise. No. The process of becoming is what we do at every moment. The choices we make, the thoughts we have, the words we speak that determine our form and the mood and content of our next life. So everybody is engaged in the process of becoming. It's just that most people don't realize it, and so they don't have the opportunity to customize it to their real needs. Don't miss this opportunity, because you can create a next life that is just the way you want it. Aum Tatsat. Aum Shakti Aum.